Let's have a quick conversation about American Express product change. And I want to share with you a few hacks, a few updated hacks, so you can really uh, navigate the whole process more aptly. So here's an overview I want you to pay attention to. So when we think about um, American Express product change, of course, we're speaking about upgrading or downgrading an American Express card, right? Now, a quick phone call or online chat is all it takes most of the time. But there are a few things you should know to avoid losing out on rewards. Because when we talk about AMS credit cards, we are speaking about cards that are loaded with uh, rewards, in, rewards in some cases. And it's one of those things where you gotta be strategic when it comes to upgrading or downgrading. First of all, you wanna call the, the number on the back of your card or use the chat feature within your online account portal to request an upgrade or downgrade. And uh, there are some folks that, that who actually use uh, the app. So you can use the AMS app to actually initiate the upgrading process or downgrading process. So that's totally possible. So you have a lot of a lot of avenues when it comes to uh, initiating a, an American Express product change. Your current account must be at least a year old and in good standing, and you can only upgrade or downgrade within the same Amex card family. So that's really important in terms of uh, in terms of uh, compartmentalizing compartmentalizing all the important all, all the uh, relevant cards within the Amex portfolio. And before you upgrade or downgrade, make sure you're not missing out on valuable rewards. The thing is that when you think about American Express, you got to think about a provider that really offers a wide variety of credit cards, each with its own unique set of benefits. And uh, basically, depending on your lifestyle, certain cards might, might seem appealing to you than others. So if you're not getting the most out of your current card, you may consider upgrading or downgrading to a different American Express card. And upgrading can give you access to new benefits such as higher rewards rate or more travel perks. And choosing to downgrade your American Express credit card can save you money on annual fees, especially if you're not using all of the benefits of your current card. However, there are downsides to upgrading or downgrading a card. Most notably, you can miss out, as I said a little earlier, on the valuable welcome offer that comes with opening a new card. So this is something to really think about deeply. So, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable. You are going to enjoy today's conversation. Let's talk about how to upgrade your American Express card. Of course, when we talk about AMX product change, we're talking about either upgrading or downgrading, right? So, but the, 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 you have to be strategic again. So upgrading typically means moving to a card with more benefits and often a higher annual fee because see, the thing is that with benefits, you have to be willing to pay for those benefits. And so the process is pretty stream. The process is pretty straightforward. So first of all, you want to check your eligibility. Maybe you might be thinking, well, you know, I qualify for those cards, but, but when you actually read the fine prints, you realize, hey, listen, I, I don't qualify for this, for this card. So as a card holder, you must maintain an account in good standing for at least one year to be eligible for an upgrade. So to check your eligibility, you want to log into your MS account, go to the account services tab, then select card management. You may see an offer to upgrade if you are eligible or in the offers tab in your account. So it's one of those things where you can't, you can't really miss it. Okay. You can't miss the notice if you will. If you think you are eligible for an upgrade, but you don't see the option, you want to call the number on the back of your card or use the chat feature within your American Express online account to ask a representative about your options. And you always have options. Okay. So first of all, you want to check your eligibility. Number two, you want to choose a new eligible card. So you are, you are basically restricted to upgrading to a card within the same family. And for instance, you can upgrade a basic Delta credit card to a premium version that offers more Delta perks, but you cannot upgrade a Delta card to a Marriott card. So that's really, um, I'll speak a little more about that later on, but I just wanted you to, to see the segregation that's really happening here. So you can use the American Express website to compare different cards within the same card family. Next, you want to contact American Express. So once you've chosen a new card, you can upgrade through the card management tab within your account or by contacting American Express customer service. So this is really good and you can just wait for your new card. So you may get an instant approval decision on your upgrade request or approval it may take a few days depending upon your, your, your situation. 
Either way, your new card will be sent by mail in a few business days. In the meantime, the card that you upgraded should uh, still work to make purchases and you will earn rewards following the rates of your new accounts even before the new cards arrives in the mail physically. So that's really fantastic. Boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about uh, American Express product change. So we talked about upgrading your MS card, right? Now let's talk about downgrading your MS card. Let's go the other way around. And the thing is that when, when we, I mean, you might be thinking, well, it seems counterintuitive to downgrade your MS card. Not really, because it depends on your situation. It depends on the card you have now. Maybe you're tired of uh, just paying uh, an annual fee that's very uh, astronomical, but you're not getting the benefits because you're not, use, you're not using the card because maybe your lifestyle change or anything, the life circumstances, have altered your initial uh, willingness to use willingness to use the card, right? So downgrading is a process of moving to a card with a lower annual fee and potentially fewer benefits. So first of all, you want to contact customer service. Everything happens through contacting customer service. So MS prefers that you speak directly to a rep about downgrades because they don't want you to to, to apply for a downgrade actually uh, via the app or or online they want you to have a conversation with a live human being okay so you want to explain your needs so when you actually contact customer service it's good that you have that you you take a few notes and uh so you you're clear about what you have to say so you don't have to actually go into uh, like a long and convoluted conversation no so you want to talk about why the current car doesn't suit your requirements so it can actually be anything, right? When you say, well, the car doesn't suit your requirements, it could be anything, a change in life circumstances or a change in financial profile, whatever, it can be anything. The thing is that uh, they will try to actually uh, talk to you, they will, the rep will try to talk you out of your decision, but be sure that you have done your, you've done re your research and you're sure about your decision, okay? Consider a retention offer. So though never guaranteed, MX will in some cases offer customers an incentive to continue using a higher tier credit card before downgrading your american express card it may be worth asking if a retention offer is available i mean the thing is that you are negotiating here it's all about seeing what what kind of possibilities are there for you okay and you want to choose a new eligible card so if you decide to move forward with downgrading your amex the customer service rep can help you select a new card based on your on your needs spending habits and desired benefits and fee the same rule applies here about card families, so that's really important. I'll talk I'll talk more about the card family card, card families issues later on. So one thing for sure, you'll likely forego a welcome bonus. That's something to be aware of, but that that shouldn't be uh, the only the only criteria in the equation right so when navigating the american express card landscape it's really essential to note how your upgrade or downgrade may factor into the company's once per lifetime welcome offer policy so according to the policy a card holder can receive a specific card's welcome bonus only once in their lifetime only once okay this means what it means if you choose to upgrade to a different card even if you don't receive any bonus point in doing so you will not be eligible for a welcome bonus on that card in the future. So when upgrading an MS card, you may be eligible for a targeted offer that allows you to earn a lump sum of bonus membership rewards points when upgrading, similar to a welcome offer. However, this is rarely available when downgrading a card. So keep in mind any offers you may be giving up through this move, okay? So now let's quickly, walk, uh, I want to walk you through the American Express card families so American Express categorizes its vast range of credit cards into distinct card families, each tailored to specific customer needs and preferences. And those families group different versions of co-branded cars or other related products. It's kind of crucial though when you think about it, you have to note that when you, when you consider an upgrade or downgrade, changes can only be made within the same card family, ensuring that the benefits remain aligned with uh, the category's core focus. So here is a breakdown of the various American Express card families. So you have, uh, so first of all, you have to understand you have the American Express green card. 
So this one actually have uh, so the green, the gold, and the platinum pay over time card. So uh, green card, $150 annual fee. The American Express gold card, $250 annual fee. And the platinum card, $695 annual, annual fee. And then you have the MS Everyday cards. So this is a more, this actually a more flexible line. The Everyday cards offer rewards on general purchases along with bonuses on supermarket spending. And unlike MX Pay Over Time cards, this traditional credit cards have a preset spending limits and allow you to carry a balance month to month. So you have the MS Everyday credit card, the MS Everyday preferred credit card from, from American Express, and this one has a $95 annual fee. So it's important to keep that in mind. And you have the blue cash cards. So this is ideal for families or those who spend a lot on groceries and gas. Those cards offer cash back on various categories. So you have the blue cash everyday card from American Express. There's no annual fee on that one. And, the, and then you have the blue cash preferred card from American Express. And uh, so you have uh, no annual fee the first year. Then it's $95. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a conversation about MS product change. Next, you have here the Delta Sky Miles cars. So this is uh, targeted towards frequent flyers of Delta Airlines. These cars offer a range of benefits from free and free check bags to priority boarding. So you have the Delta Sky Miles Blue American Express card, Delta Sky Miles Gold American Express card. And uh, the, the first one has uh, no annual fee. The second one has uh, no annual fee the first year, then $150. And you have Delta Sky Miles Platinum MS card. This carries a $350 annual fee. The last one, the Delta Sky Miles Reserve American Express card. This one has a $650 annual card. So that's for the Delta Sky Miles card. Then you have the Hilton Honors cards. And uh, this is designed for Hilton Hotel Loyalist. And these cards actually offer perks such as room upgrades and free night stays. You have the Hilton Honors American Express card, no annual fee. The Hilton Honors American Express Surpass card, and this carries a $150 annual fee. Then you have the Hilton, the Hilton Honors American Express Aspire card, and this, is, uh, this carries a $550. Then you have the Merit Bonvoy cards, and uh, this is for a Merit Loyalist. Those cards offer status rewards and additional perks at Merit Hotel properties. And then you have the Merit uh, Marriott Bonvoy Bevy American Express card that carries a $250 annual fee. And then you have the Merit Bonvoy Brilliant American Express card, a $650 annual fee. And it's important to really understand that when you downgrade actually uh, your American Express card, the annual fee may be refunded. So MS actually offers a 30-day grace period after your annual fee is charged. During that period, you can choose to downgrade the card and have your annual fee refunded in full. If you choose to downgrade after the 30-day grace period, your annual fee will be refunded at a prorated amount depending on the portion of the year you held the higher fee card. So this is uh, something to be aware of, not only in terms of how you position yourself in the future, but also uh, the, the timing of uh, the downgrade. And uh, in most cases, your old card will not stop working immediately after you upgrade or downgrade. And once you have been approved for an upgrade or downgrade, MX will send you uh, your new card by mail. In the meantime, your previous card will continue working until you activate the new card. So you have uh, the, the continuity here that's really preserved. So that's really fantastic. Let me give you a bonus here. So basically when we talk about MS green, gold, and platinum, which one should you really get? It really depends on what you what you are after, okay? There are good reasons you might choose to go with uh, one of the other cards. And uh, ultimately the right choice for you depends on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a travel and dining rewards for a relatively low cost, the American Express green card, which carries an annual fee of $150, is the ideal choice. For dining, for rich dining perks, the MS Gold Card, which is which has an annual fee of two hundred fifty dollars, outshine the others. And for luxury travel perks, the Platinum Card from American Express, which has an annual fee of six ninety five, 
is the superior option so this is really good so the thing is that those cards actually uh, stack up based on what you are looking for it's a uh, it's one of those things where you have to see what really works for you so for instance when we take the american express green card you have to really think that this is the least least expensive of the bunch which might make it more compelling for some the platinum card from american express is the priciest with an annual fee north of 500 dollars and the american express gold card lands in the middle the question is you know the winner here is a platinum card from american express it's really really when it comes to side perks the platinum card from american express totally dominates not just among uh, the three ms cards that i just sold that i told you a little more about but among consumer cards more generally because it offers a, a really uh, long list of uh, statement credits and perks including access to american express global lounge collections extensive network of air airport lounges up to 200 dollars in uber cash every year a 200 dollars airline fee credit for purchases like check bags and in-flight refreshments and, and uh, also an application for an application fee credit for a tsa pre-check or global entry so this is really cool in terms of uh, saving there for bonus categories you actually can go with the american express green card and the american express gold card and it's one of those things where those two cards shine because uh you for instance the american express green card stands out as the card with the highest rewards on most travel purchases and the gold is actually superior for footy rewards it really offers a generous bonus points on both restaurants world, worldwide and u.s supermarkets and uh, so that's really good in terms of uh, the points you earn, you earn but also how fast you earn those points over time so that's really fantastic So let me give you uh, the approach you need to follow here. So when we talk about MS product change, obviously you got to ask yourself the right, the right uh, MS card for you, right? How do you actually choose that? Well, it really depends on whether you prefer cashback, travel, luxury perks, or something else. Everything revolves around your lifestyle. Your lifestyle is going to dictate what kind of card is great for you. American Express offers a, a smorgasbord of uh, credit cards designed to appeal to a range of personal preferences. If you prefer cash back on grocery purchases, for instance, this there is an American American Express card for you. If your tastes veer more towards luxury travel, the issuer has a card for you. It really also depends on how you actually position your financial life. And the thing is, ask yourself a few questions, right? Do you have great credit? Do you have good credit? Do you prefer cash back or points you can apply towards travel? You know, are you willing to pay an annual fee? Where do you spend the most money? Those are questions you got to ask yourself. So when we talk about finding the right American Express card for you, you got to always think about, uh, you know, do you are you looking for cash back? Are you looking for simplicity? Are you looking for footies? Are you looking for travels? I mean, travel. Are you looking for luxury perks? So those are things that really will uh, dictate the type of car that you get in the, you get in the end, and the kind of the kind of car you get in the end will actually uh, ship. Your, your perception of uh, American Express in the long run. So you always have to think about what works for you. And uh, so, but one thing for sure, when it talks about, when it talk about uh, cashback American Express credit cards, you have the blue cash everyday card from American Express. For, for foodies, you have the American Express gold card, that's for sure. For uh, travel, you have the American Express green card. For uh, luxury perks, you have uh, the American Express uh, platinum card. And uh, last but not the least, you, yeah, but this was the list. And uh, the, the thing I, I'm trying to make here is that it really depends on what you want to do. It's uh, more about how you actually go about doing it. That's really the point we are trying to make really here. The appreciation to this conversation. We talked about the uh, MS product change. I give you the overview, the bonus, the approach, and now the recap. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, stay 